this came along, man, this was me to a T. Put my name at the top of the list, I want in, no matter what. This means everything to me. I mean, to be able to basically live a dream, everything that I do in my life, from the, the drag racing and the Porsche club racing and those things along the way, and working on trucks, and you kind of put that into a big old mixing bowl, and, and this is what we got. We got tier one truck racing coming along right here, and we're at the, the opening gate of this whole thing, ground floor level. My family's behind me, my son, my wife, We've dumped everything we got into this. There's no backing out of this thing right now, I don't think. We're in it deep. <laughs> Way deeper than we want to be. There hasn't been any extras here at home for a long time. I can tell you that. Um, very slim Christmas, very slim birthdays, um, bare necessities all the way around. The mower needs a new set of blades. Not happening this year, okay? We've got what we got, things like that. Every little thing that it takes to, to make this series happen for me, um, we've done it. And it goes from the smallest thing to the biggest things. So extra hours at work, um, buying, trading, selling little things on the side, trying to make things happen, making some good deals on things along the way, trying to make good decisions. That's all part of it. And we've, I've done my best to make this thing happen. I work as a Mac technician, I turn wrenches for a living. Uh, this is what we do. Um, trucks come in broken and figure out how to fix them. I love my job. Um, you know, you get gratification, you know, drivers come in here, they're having a bad day, their truck's broke, you know, they're trying to make it home for Christmas, they're trying to make it home for Thanksgiving, and, and you find that needle in the haystack problem. You get them back on the road, and you get them home for Christmas. You get them home for Thanksgiving. Those are the, the real good times where you really enjoy your job. Or, you know, you build an engine that's, you know, comes in here in a bunch of pieces. It, you know, maybe the driver decided to start working on himself for some reason, you know, and is scattered six waves from Sunday. And a couple days later, you have it all put back together, up and run like, you know, just purring, just doing exactly what it's supposed to do. I've been working for Mac right at about 20 years now. Been as a technician my entire life for the Mac dealership. Mac trucks has been real good to me. They've really taken care of me over the years. I do appreciate that. Pictures along the way of my son as he keeps getting bigger and bigger. Everything I've learned over the last 20 plus years of, of working on these trucks has uh, gone into the race truck. He's just waiting there behind Trevor. He's trying to see if Trevor's going to make a mistake and when Mike Morgan can pounce on uh, second place there. Oh, I enjoy working on the truck. That's not a problem. I love, you know, knowing every nut and bolt on my truck and what it takes to make it happen. Being able to come down and, uh, and see an American truck, you know, a, a road truck like what I drive, and that he's took the time into making into a race truck, you know, that's something all, all truck drivers can relate to. It's really, really neat. I can tell you it, it gets very busy <laughs> at the racetrack trying to do both. You know, I have one uh, helper, basically. I got crew chief Matt Coon. Um, he's been my go-to guy, you know, on the weekend when I can't get stuff done. Just the simple things like getting seat belted in with your Hans device and, and stuff like that, you know, it's very tough to do by yourself and make sure everything's exactly where it needs to be. Oh, oh, big problems for Mike Morgan. The hood's coming up. We don't have unlimited funds to just say, you know, okay, let's go buy this part or let's go do this to the truck and make a change or even during building the truck, it was, you know, where can I get a good deal on this? You know, I had to really search and try and save $5 there, $10 there or trade for something, you know, go do a job somewhere and trade for some of this stuff. Um, that has been very, very tough. You know, if we don't get a sponsor, the, the yeah, I'm gonna continue to try and fight my way through this to keep going, but you know, there's gonna be a time when you know we're gonna just say, look, the money's not here. I cannot physically do it. We're not gonna sell the house to make this happen. And we're not too far from it. We're gonna keep moving forward. We have just enough, I think, coming in from small people here and there, just a very little, just enough to keep things rolling, at least for the next race. But yeah, it's, it's tough. You know, uh, some sort of a decent sponsorship would mean I could concentrate on racing the truck, not worrying about what it's gonna to take to get us to the next race. That'd be a huge burden off my mind. My family life is, is sacrificed because of it. Um, it's been a lot of late nights and long days that I haven't got to spend with my son and my wife. 
Um, we've been away working on the truck, either at the barn or out here, or running around trying to get parts and take care of things and get things done and built. My family is, is number one, but they've put an awful lot of sacrifice on the line so this could happen, and I really do appreciate that. It's special in my life. <laughs>